After weeks of rising tension and speculation, North Korea fulfilled its threats and launched a rocket. The secretive nation insists its aim was to send a communication satellite into orbit in a peaceful bid to develop a space program. But many nations fear Pyongyang is testing its long-range missile technology. And the launch violates UN sanctions, which specifically prohibit the testing of ballistic weapons. The Japanese government says the three-stage rocket blasted off from North Korea's Musudan-ri base. And some seven minutes later, a separated section fell into the Sea of Japan, about 280 kilometers off Japan's northeast coast. Thirteen minutes after blast-off, a second stage of the rocket fell into the Pacific Ocean after traveling more than 1,200 kilometers. Japan had set up emergency crisis centers and mobilized its forces ahead of the launch. In the end, no action was necessary. We feel that it's very unfortunate that North Korea has gone ahead with the launch and we formally denounce it. We have no reports of any damage done. It has flown over Japan, so no orders have been issued to intercept or destroy the projectile. North Korea says the launch was a success and claims it now has an experimental communications satellite in orbit. However, the U.S. military backed up claims by South Korea's presidential Blue House that the satellite had failed to make it to space. Our government and the international community are deeply disappointed that North Korea has launched a long-range rocket, costing an enormous amount of money, which could solve its chronic food shortage problem. South Koreans have long lived with their antagonistic northern neighbor. And aside from a small street protest, they seem to take news of the launch in their stride. I think it's just satellite, so I don't believe this is a missile. I also I don't I don't think it's any hostile to um, you know, South Korea. If they did it for scientific purposes, that's good to make developments in that area. And as a father, I hope for unification in the very near future. There are fears that if this test was deemed to be successful, North Korea could sell on its expertise or weaponize the technology. Its latest move undermines the progress made during the ongoing six-party talks. More sanctions are a possibility, but to date those seem to have had little effect and could face veto from North Korea's closest supporter, China. U.S. President Barack Obama has called the launch a provocative act and warned it will lead to further isolation for Pyongyang. Whatever the outcome, North Korea's launch has grabbed the world's attention, satellite or no satellite. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Seoul.